thermal bridging. It's another sleeping giant in the way we build apartments. In winter, you're trying to keep this space warm inside and the concrete slab is literally sucking all that warmth outside, throwing it away into the atmosphere. In summer, when that sun is beating down on the balcony, the concrete is like a super highway, bringing all that in to the space that you're trying to keep cool. Uncontrolled thermal bridging is also a source of dew point condensation inside structures, which can lead to mold and sick building syndrome. And that is why a passive house requires thermal bridges to be eliminated with structural thermal breaks. So what we've done here is we've used insulation foam with these structural acoustic dowels placed every metre to give us continuous structure but completely eliminate any thermal bridging. So the concrete balcony can heat up and cool down as much as it likes. It's not going to impact the interior temperature and that's all part of creating this comfortable, healthy oasis in the middle of the city. So when the weather's less than perfect or you want some quiet time, you can cocoon yourself in your own private oasis far away from the heat, dust and noise of the city. But then on a beautiful day like today, got some friends over, you can throw the doors open and enjoy that indoor-outdoor living that Sydney siders have really grown to love. All the doors and windows at the Fern are timber framed, aluminium clad, so we get that solid warmth and insulation of timber inside and the durability and weather tightness of aluminium on the outside. This is a tilt and turn frame. You can see the one, two, three, four points of ceiling for ultimate air and weather tightness. Now this sample is double glazed. All our doors and windows are actually triple glazed. So we've got two voids, argon filled, with a heat reflective coating on the glass to keep the winter heat in and the summer heat out, no matter what the conditions. These massive glaze panels are on lift and slide hardware. That means that they slide easily on their German rollers. And you turn the handle and they drop down onto those rubber seals to form that ultimate passive house air tightness. HRV, what is it and why would you use it? Passive house isn't about creating a stuffy airtight box. It's about controlling and optimizing ventilation. We do that with this HRV unit. The heart of the HRV is the heat exchanger works similar to how a radiator in a car works, with warm and cool fluids passing over each other without actually mixing. Now this is not to be confused with the air conditioning. This works 24-7, 365 days a year. This little controller tells you what temperature it is and is fully adjustable or you can just let it run automatically in the background using around 20 watts, which is a tiny amount of power for a huge result. So your supply air is coming in through the heat exchanger, going into the apartment, and the exhaust air is coming out through the heat exchanger, going back out to the atmosphere. And it's happening through these allergenic grade filters, which are fantastic for asthmatics. So the supply air exits the HRV unit and comes into this attenuator, which silences any fan noise, making it a really quiet operator. Hello. This is the unit now installed with the attenuators. On this side we have outside air and the insulated pipe. On this side we have inside air going through to and being drawn from the apartment into the unit to cross over in the heat exchanger for that critical heat recovery process. So you can see that ducting snaking its way through the ceiling. We have the kitchen exhaust here. Kitchen and bathroom are constantly drawing exhaust air out and expelling it from the envelope so any smells generated disappear. The supply ducts are pushing the air through into the bedroom and living areas. That filtered fresh air giving you that constant circulation. You can see how much effort has gone into really maximising the ceiling height by pushing this heat recovery ventilation incoming duct as high as it will go. The final adjustments are made at the valve and the plenum. These foam buffers are inserted and you remove stops as required to get your desired airflow and reduce the noise. This rubber ring forms a nice tight seal. And then the air valve pops it off and that is all you'll see from under the ceiling.